Top 10 Richest People in the World The top richest people in the world have had a great time right from 2020, as many of them have dramatically increased their wealth. With the likes of Elon Musk joining the top three list in 2020, guess who's back up to number again? Today we bring you the top richest people in the world. You know how we do it here. Hit the subscribe button and like this video because we know you are going to love this. 10. Warren Buffett, CEO Berkshire Hathaway. Net worth $99.5 billion. The famed Oracle of Omaha and legendary investor runs one of the biggest investment companies in the world. Berkshire Hathaway, which owns companies like Geico, the battery maker Duracell, and the restaurant chain Dairy Queen. The company also has a stake in companies like the Coca-Cola Company, among others. Buffett is undoubtedly one of the best investors of all time. But his success wasn't one of luck, as the now Oracle was once a little lad buying stocks at the age of 11 and doing his own taxes at the age of 13. He is mostly associated with Bill Gates, to whom he has donated billions of cash to the Gates Foundation. In 2010, Buffett joined Gates as they launched a charity movement called the Giving Pledge, appealing to their fellow billionaires to donate at least half of their fortunes to various charity causes. Buffett himself has pledged to donate over 99% of his fortune. And so far, he is doing a pretty good job at it, as he has given out more than $45 billion to the Gates Foundation and some of the charity organizations his children have started. On a regular day, you may be lucky to find Buffett enjoying a burger and a bottle of Coke, driving his old truck, or just stepping into his house which he bought decades ago. He lives pretty frugally, unlike other billionaires. 9. Mukesh Ambani, Founder and Chairman, Reliance Industries. Net worth $100.3 billion. After a recent hike of 3.41% in his net worth, the Indian businessman is now worth $100.3 billion, landing him the ninth richest man. Mukesh Ambani is the chairman of Reliance Industries, a company with various interests in the energy industry, such as petrochemicals, oil, and gas, as well as other industries like communications and retail. The company was started by his father, who was a yarn trader in 1966 as a small manufacturing company making textiles. Ambani, together with Anil, will take up the business and grow it to its current glory and significance. 8. Sergey Brin, co-founder and board member, Alphabet. Net worth $110.6 billion. Right now, Sergey Brin and the next richest man on this list are helping us connect through YouTube. Brin is a large shareholder of the parent company of Google, Alphabet. Although Brin stepped down from the president role of Alphabet in 2019, he is still a key personality for the company. Together with Larry Page, he started Google while they were pursuing their studies at Stanford University in computer science. 7. Larry Page, co-founder and board member, Alphabet. Net worth $114.7 billion. Larry Page is much like Brin's twin brother. Both are worth similar figures and started Google, which later became a subsidiary of Alphabet, which owns YouTube. Larry and Bryn stepped down from their roles in Google and Alphabet while they maintained board members as large shareholders. 6. Mark Zuckerberg, CEO, Facebook. Net worth $116.8 billion. Your friendly social networking CEO is the sixth richest man in the world and the youngest billionaire there is. Mark Zuckerberg is the boss of social media company Facebook, which owns Instagram, WhatsApp, among others like Novi Financial, a company that is a digital payments wallet headquartered in Facebook, Menlo Park, and founded in 2017. 
The young CEO started his studies at Harvard, where he came up with the idea for Facebook, and then it started in 2004 at the age of 18. The initial idea was a platform where students could match names with photos of classmates and quickly took off after they saw its viral potential. The company later developed various growth hacking strategies to grow their user base, some of which have become the platform for growth pocketbook mass adoption. The Facebook company officially went public in May of 2012, selling shares which Mark owns 12%. Much like other billionaires on this list, Mark is an adept philanthropist who, together with his wife, Priscilla Chan, started a foundation and further pledged to give a whopping 99% of their fortunes over their lifetimes. 5. Larry Ellison, CTO and founder, Oracle. Net worth, $117.5 billion. Ellison is one of those billionaires who managed to get under the radar. As the founder and chief technology officer of Oracle, one of the biggest data service providers in the world, Ellison is the fifth richest man on earth, with a 35% stake in the software giant Oracle. Oracle owes much of its rise and success to a series of high-profile acquisitions of software companies, like the NetSuite acquisition of 2016, which was valued at $9.3 billion. In 2014, Ellison stood down from the CEO position for Oracle and joined the Tesla board of directors in December of 2018 after Ellison had invested $3 million in the company earlier in the year. He moved back to the Hawaiian island Lanai in 2020, which he owns the majority for $300 million back in 2012. Bill Gates, co-founder Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, net worth $128.8 billion. Bill Gates is one of the longest standing richest people and has been on this list for a very long time. Having been dethroned by Bezos, Bill Gates is now the fourth richest man on earth. He is the famed founder and former CEO of Microsoft, which is one of the world's largest and most valuable companies. He has since resigned himself to investing in philanthropy, focusing on health and global warming. Gates is now a known investor in zero carbon energy. Gates is now divorced after many years of marriage with Melinda Gates, with whom he started the Gates Foundation. He has since it started donated $35.8 billion of his income to the foundation and transferred at least $5.7 billion worth of shares to his former wife Melinda after their divorce. Bill Gates started his company Microsoft with Paul Allen back in 1975 in Albuquerque. 3. Bernard Arnault, Chairman and CEO, LVMH Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton. Net worth, $175.2 billion. You may have heard of Louis Vuitton and Sephora, but did you know the French businessman Bernard Arnault is the person behind them, along with some other 70 luxury brands? As a person who makes it his business to raise standards in fashion and industry, his net worth is surely able to help him live such a life for himself first. Arnault got his start in what he does best, now when he invested about $15 million from the proceeds from his father's construction dealings into Christian Dior back in 1985. In January 2021, his company LVMH closed a deal buying the jewelry brand Tiffany & Co. for a whopping $15.8 billion. 2. Jeff Bezos, CEO and founder, Amazon. Net worth, $186.6 billion. Bezos overtook Bill Gates as the richest man on earth only a few years ago and has never let go since then. Gates has lapsed to the fourth position. Bezos owes his fortunes to Amazon.com, a company he started after he quit his job to start what will now become a conglomerate from his garage in Seattle, Washington. During the pandemic, he saw a 38% uptake in his net worth due to his thriving business ventures. Bezos resigned as Amazon CEO to focus on Blue Origin, 
a space company he created to develop commercial use rockets for space travel. 1. Elon Musk, CEO and Chairman, Tesla. Net worth $201.2 billion. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have been chasing each other in circles after the richest man on Earth for the last year. These two have seen their wealth surpass each other time and again, with the other always coming back up. Musk is the CEO of the private space company SpaceX, CEO of electric automaker Tesla, among a host of other companies like Neuralink, Starlink, and The Boring Company. Musk is a visionary who has been working for the advancement of the human race. We believe that at his core, he simply wants to see humans get to the next stage of the world explaining his desire to colonize Mars, among others. As a child, Musk was an avid reader and read the entire Isaac Asimov's Foundation series. He created what would become PayPal, sold it, and used his proceeds to start SpaceX and invest in Tesla. Today, these two account for the vast majority of his wealth. With Musk back to the number one position in the richest people list, who is to tell if Bezos will get back at him? The battle between the two has been for the past two years as their companies continue to grow in the mindset of post-pandemic all-time highs. Will Bezos become the richest man again, or this time, Musk is taking it for a hike? Let us know what you think in the comments, and we will see you in the next video.